told my baby I ain't nothing like the last one So she gon' hold it down to the back home Break the bread down to the last crumb She was solid way before I ever had none Said I'm fine, I ain't alright So hurry up into the morning I come alive in the moonlight And what I'm whipping it in for it Snakes in the grass trying to bite me Next year ain't no telling what it might be Spite him in the crib, give him some assault I have a tendency to give when I need some help Really need to hear my brother tell him how it felt Cause anything might have changed to your life So all I'm asking is you hold me down I don't want no drama when you come around Cause I'll be on my fire and I'll stop Ain't nobody got time for the run around Nigeria. <laughs> it's the same thing, eh? Yeah. The inflation is the same. I bought now. It's like what 600 rands. And I just have two two bags. Nothing no, gives. No, no, no. Nothing gives joy than coming on to a clean sink. See? It's domestic joy. <laughs> Hi guys, good afternoon. So we just got back from church. It's been a long day. It's 4 30. Yeah. Our Sundays are like the old day in church. So I want to um make dinner. I honestly don't know what I'll make, but I bought beef. You guys saw I bought beef. I got vegetable. And I got vegetable, I got beef. This thing is dark. I want to change this light to white light. Uh, yeah, beef, vegetable. So I'll boil beef first, and from there I'll know how to proceed. That one's already eating a carrot from yesterday. That's why I like to have leftovers in this house, so that nobody's in that pressure. Chicken. So yeah, I'll boil beef, and we we'll move from there. She buy eating cheese balls. <laughs> Favorite. Hello, Juba. How are you doing? Hello. <laughs> hello. 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 So I have pizza. I'm going to one pizza now. I got it yesterday. It's not hot enough. You guys, my husband eats the hottest food. I don't get it. See, if you put food down on fire now, 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 and you serve it, you still going to put it in the microwave. I, at least I can't have seen before. I don't get it. Baby, it's okay. Come and take it. I don't know what you I'm going to have a 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 i to work but he has to hold something so now he has gotten to, to the end of this thing Juba, can you don't challenge anything he has gotten to the end of the chair now he has to go down <laughs> he's been there for like minutes trying to figure out what to do next Jubes with Juba being able to move now we constantly have to sweep the floor so there's no eating it's not good yeah yeah my father needs to collect help. Anyway, what's up, you guys? How are you doing? This is me coming to you to talk to you in this vlog. How are you guys doing? Good afternoon, good morning, good evening, whenever it is you're watching. Can we talk about raising children or raising a family in the abroad? Like, let's talk about how difficult it is. 
So guys, I realized that the audio was a little bit bad, so I decided to do a voiceover on this video. So I was talking about how difficult it is to raise a family abroad, especially when you have all your family members outside the country that you live in. You guys, it is so difficult and I feel like it is not talked about enough because people just feel like they shouldn't talk about it so that they will not be judged. And sometimes when you even say these things, you get responses like, then go back to your country if you're not comfortable where you are. Go back to where you have family and you can have all your dreams come true. But it is not that easy. It is not that simple. Whether we like it or not, immigration is now part of our lives, especially as Africans or young Nigerians. I used to say that it is almost impossible to find a complete family in Nigeria living in Nigeria. Do you understand? Especially if they are middle class, they can afford to travel, people will travel. Like, it is hard for you to find father, mother, children living together in Nigeria. Because we are just all in search of greener pastures, better life for ourselves and our children unborn and born so we just always look for a better place it's just part of who we are right now and i don't see it stopping anytime soon but the reality just dawns on us when we now get to this country of choice and we are just all alone by ourselves and it's just difficult to embrace like I get super jealous when I see YouTubers, Nigerian YouTubers, and they want to take a break. Maybe they want to travel and they just simply drop their children with their parents and off they go without looking back. I'm just like, you don't know what you have. You don't know what you have. <laughs> it's so painful that I cannot do the same. I've been parents, I've been a parent or we've been parents for 10 months and we have not taken one break, one day break one night of just being husband and wife and not thinking about a child you know i used to tell my mother-in-law that she's lucky that i don't live in nigeria in fact it was even my mom that told her that you should be thanking god for me does not live in nigeria because if she does you are the one that will be chasing her up and down with phones to say when are you coming to pick your child because she will leave that child with you and not look back i used to say mommy tell her because she's always calling to say oh i want to see my grandchild i want to see my grandchild i'm just like you are a very lucky woman that i don't live in that country but i'm sure that she wouldn't mind honestly i miss having family around i really do miss it and i'm a big believer of building a community but at the same time you cannot dump a 10 month old baby with your community to say oh look after this child I, i'm gone for five days i'm taking a break for five days because this baby can hardly communicate it is just you as a primary carer carer rather that knows what they want when they want it you know because you've been with them for a long time right so it is difficult for you to just take that baby to somebody else to say look after this baby for me or look after my child for me for the next five days it's just almost not realistic right but if it was your parents like family you wouldn't care they'll figure it out <laughs> they will figure it out you will dump that child with them without any care in the world guys i know that this is a real issue and this is not me complaining like i said earlier it is not complaining it is just real life and like you guys know this channel is just about sharing my life and this is life life in and the thing is it is the reality of almost every young family living abroad and you guys already know it's even better here in south africa you can still afford help you can afford it but people that live in western countries you know you cannot it's really expensive it's so expensive and it's something that you have to even think about before you do that but i hope you guys understand where i'm coming from i hope you do you know, I saw a video of a lady the other day on Instagram crying about how she feels lonely. She stays in another country. She stays abroad, I think Canada, about how she feels very lonely, um, the fact that her family is not near and, you know, everything is just um, happening. You know, I think her younger sister just got married and she couldn't attend. And so somebody would say, eh, why couldn't she go? She should just buy a ticket and go. <laughs> My family members are trying to go home for Christmas and they've been trying to find tickets. The cheapest they've found so far is like $3,000. That's a lot of money. Like, that's a lot of money, guys. 
no just used to say that i cannot wait for a time where all my family members will live in one country even if it is not in our home country nigeria let it just be in one country and let us start to build our family house from there let cousins know cousins you know i grew up with this i want my children to grow up with this as well let us not have uh, e-cousins right <laughs> you know we we'll have e-cousins they'll see their cousins online <laughs> And you do, oh no 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 that's not a good thing honestly it is the life that we have now immigration is just part of our lives and i don't see it stopping anytime soon unfortunately and you know people will just keep searching for greener pastures wherever that is like wherever that is it is when we now get there we're not like wow this is actually very far <laughs> you will not know until you get there anyway me i'm just here to say that i miss my family i miss having them around I just really miss it and this is the time that I think I need them the most, you know, when I can just, you know, rely on them for some things, you know, even if it's just three, four, five days, I just need an escape. My husband and I, we need an escape. <laughs> we just want to be boyfriend and girlfriend without having to think about a child and I don't think that's asking for too much. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys for watching this vlog if you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up so next time i come your way i hope that you do well and god bless you if you can relate to everything i've said please put it in the comment section how have you been coping because i know it is a real life issue that people really don't talk about but how have you been coping let me know in the comment section so next time i come your way i hope that you do well and god bless you i love you guys so much bye guys mm -hmm.